What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. In 2019, hardware developer Tura Onion released the Mega SD, a flashcard for the Sega Genesis that conveniently doubles as an ODE for Sega CD games. At the time, this was a revolutionary addition to the retro gaming space. It allowed many to experience what the Sega CD had to offer without having to deal with the various hardware issues that the system is often plagued with. Alongside this, you get a number of features and extras that will enhance your Genesis experience. In this video, I will walk you through the process of getting your Mega SD updated for 2021 and beyond. I'll also give you some simple tips on how to get started after setup. Link to the tools used in the description below. Before getting started, you'll want to do a quick check of the hardware that you'll be using with the Mega SD, as some portions of the setup may be incompatible. For those who have a Sega CD attachment, you'll need to disconnect it from the Genesis console in order to play CD games off of the Mega SD cart. The Genesis 3 and Sega Nomad can both play Sega CD and Master System games provided you perform the internal mods to get them working. Sega CD games are disabled on the Sega Multimega, CDX, Laser Active, XI, and Wonder Mega. Getting started, you'll want to make sure that you have a large enough SD card to hold your games. I recommend getting an SD card that is 256 gigabytes or more. In this example, I use a card that is 400 gigabytes. This will allow you to get the full set of games for the Sega Genesis and Master System alongside the full set for the Sega CD and a number of MD Plus games that you might be interested in having. The card can be formatted as FAT32 or XFAT. If you'd like to format it in FAT32, I recommend using the formatter tool known as FAT32 Format. Format the SD card, renaming it something that you can remember. In this example, I named it Mega SD. With the SD card taken care of, head to the Terra Onion website for the newest firmware, which is of the time of this video, version 1.05, revision 4. Click on Support, then Downloads. You'll need to sign up for Terra Onion's website to log in, and you'll need to register your Mega SD card to receive the latest updates. You can find the serial number on the back of the cart in the upper right, or within the Options section in the UI. Download the firmware, then extract the contents of the zip onto the root of the SD card. Place the SD card back into the console and power it on. At boot, you will be given the option to update your Mega SD. Press A to update your cart. You may now power off the cart and place the SD card back into the PC once this process is complete. At this point, you may delete the update file from the SD card. You'll also see that the Mega SD card has created a few folders on your card. The BUP folder will be for your .srm and .bak save files. Two other folders are created for your cheats and save states respectively. Create a folder named BIOS within these set of folders. Take out the time to search the internet for the BIOS files for your Sega CD games. You'll want a BIOS file for each of the three regions. You may also use a Sega Master System BIOS, though it is not required. 
If you want to use one, find the file that you're interested in, rename it bios.sms, then let it hang out in the folder with the rest. Place all of the ROM files onto your SD card. When adding Sega CD games, make sure you have each game in its own separate folder so that they are visible on the file browser. They can be .q and .bin files or .q and .iso. For multi-disc games, you'll want to make sure that you place each disc image into the same folder so that the Mega SD can swap discs as required by the game. These folders will appear as games on the Mega SD menu system when done properly. Pop the card back into your cart, then press the C button for menu options. Scroll down a bit on the file browser, then select a set of BIOS files for your Sega CD games. Finally, you can top off your installation with a few custom options. You can add a background theme to your file browser by dropping a .wav file onto the root of your SD card and renaming it bg.wav. Custom cover art can be added to the Mega SD menu in the form of it showing up on the animated TV set. In order to do this, head to the Mega SD cover art and info page on the Terra Onion wiki. Download the Game Database Manager and the Database Pack. Create a folder on the desktop, then extract the contents of both zip files within. Open the manager, then click on Convert Image. Let the program run for a couple of minutes. It may hang during this process. Click on Scan ROMs, then point to the Mega SD card. Once complete, you may pop the SD card back into your cart. Pressing C on the file browser will open up the menu options for the cart. Here you will be allowed to tweak a few settings to enhance your experience with the Mega SD. You can set your cart to boot to the last game loaded as if it were an original cartridge. If this is enabled, you can press and hold down the start button as the cart boots to bypass the function as needed. Setting region fix to auto will allow the Mega SD to detect the game and set the region for you, ignoring the region of the Genesis console used. You can also force a region of your choosing. Forcing a region will cause some Genesis games to execute specific region code if applicable. The game load reset type will do a hard or a soft reset on the console when loading a game or booting to the menu. The hard setting is considered to be more compatible and should be on if you're using a clone console or having issues with some games. Other options should be left alone as they are set for optimum performance. The Mega SD is capable of playing most Sega Genesis games without issue. This includes Virtua Racing, 
which makes use of the custom SVP chip that Sega developed for the game. The cart will also play games that have abnormally large file sizes, such as Sonic 2 Delta, Pier Solar, and Demons of Astaborg. Pressing up and start in-game will bring you into the in-game menu. Holding this button combination down for a few more seconds will force the game to exit and take you back to the file browser. Within the menu options, you can also access cheats, which will push Game Genie and Pro Action Replay codes to the game. These cheats will be saved in the Cheats folder and will be automatically disabled upon reboot of the ROM file. Sega 32X is supported for Model 1 and Model 2 Genesis consoles, provided you have a 32X unit attached. Due to the 32X's increased complexity with the Genesis console, you'll have to take a number of considerations in mind. Having the 32X attached will prohibit you from being able to play Sega CD and Master System games. There is also no in-game menu or save states in this mode. If you have the Mega SD expansion adapter from Mobius Strip Tech, you'll be able to keep the Mega SD attached to the Genesis console via the expansion port. This will allow you to play 32X CD and Sega CD games at the expense of being able to play Genesis games. Sega Master System games are also mostly compatible, with the exception of MSX conversions. These include a few Sega Game Gear games that have been converted to be played on a Sega Master System. If you added a Sega Master System BIOS file, you'll be treated to a BIOS splash screen upon loading games. Selecting Enable Master System FM in the menu will force FM audio for the games that are compatible. Playing SG-1000 games is impossible on any original Genesis console, as the Genesis VDP lacks the video modes to display properly. However, if you are using Analog's Mega SG, you'll be able to play these games as the console makes use of its own internal SMS core to pass along the video. Unfortunately, for the time being, there is no game menu or save states for the Master System games. Support for the Sega CD covers every known game that is in the library, provided that you have each of the required regional BIOS files. You are able to access the in-game menu and reset to the file browser as needed. The option has been added to tweak the CDDA and the PCM volume levels to taste, though leaving them at 80 is perfect for most games. You can once again access and add cheats, and they will be stored in the Cheats folder. For multi-disc games, you are given the ability to swap discs as needed by the game. However, save states are not possible from the in-game menu for Sega CD games. A new feature that has been added to the Mega SD is the ability to play Genesis games that have been enhanced with Redbook Audio. These games are known as Mega Drive Plus games. Each game will require the ROM file to be modded with an IPS patch, then bundled into a folder with the Q file and the files needed for the audio. When done correctly, on the file browser it will come up with the icon MD Plus next to the name. Cheats can also be used in tandem with these games as with regular Genesis ROMs. I'll be working on a video focusing on MD Plus games in the near future. For games that have save support, saving your game will write a .srm file to the BUP folder within your cart. As they are .srm files, they can be moved to and from the SD card and backed up, or transferred to other compatible carts or emulators. Ensure the .srm files match the names of the ROM files to get them going. For Sega CD games, you can tick the Per Game CD Backup RAM option in the menu. This will force the Mega SD cart to create a .SRM file for each and every game. Leaving this off will create a single .SRM file for all of your Sega CD games, so keep this in mind. With the latest firmware update, save states for the Genesis and MD Plus games have been expanded upon, now allowing for 100 separate save slots. 
Under the Save and Load State screens, pressing C over the file will load a snapshot of the state in question. These snapshots can be used as a reminder of where and when you saved your states per game. These files will be saved in the states folder and can be backed up or shared with others. I would like to give a shout out to Corey of My Life and Gaming for allowing me to use some of their B-roll footage in this video. Alongside Triforce, Corey has been an invaluable part of the retro community, showing us how to get the best quality out of our retro consoles, as well as introducing alternative ways to play them. They are also the inspiration behind me producing my own content for YouTube. I highly recommend you give their channel a look, if you are interested in raising the quality of your gaming. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. What's your favorite Sega CD game? Do you have a game on this system that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.